Hello, welcome to Jumpin' Johnny Gaming. Today I'm going to show you how to get the weekly score challenge that you occasionally get to kill five huge creatures. You have to kill five different kinds, for example, you can't kill the Scorch Beast Queen five times. There are seven kinds of huge creatures in the game and this video shows you some of the ways of getting them. Quick links are in the description below if you're looking for a particular creature. Every creature has a specific location, but I find because of daily score challenges and especially public events giving legendary cores, is to look out for these quests first. The first one is Wendigo Colossus, which you can get in the public quest A Colossal Problem. That's activated by setting a nuke on the area surrounding Monaghan Mine. If you are trying to kill any huge creature on this challenge, make sure your priority is to damage it as fast as you can. A few times on killing the Scorch Beast Queen, it gets killed so quickly that the few shots I managed to do didn't register as helping towards the kill. Also, other Wendigo Colossus can also be found in any blast zone set off by nuclear bombs. Now the easiest way to get a Scorch Beast kill is by doing the Scorched Earth public quest that's also activated by a nuclear strike at the Fissure Site Prime. This is a really good quest to do for huge creatures. Not only can you get the Scorch Beast kill by killing the Queen or other Scorch Beasts that turn up, but I have seen Scorch versions of the Death Claws, Mega Sloths and My Alert Queens. Two Mega Sloths turned up in this battle, but you have to be fast, they last seconds before they are killed. But this video will show you locations you can find the other huge creatures. Scorch Beasts can also be found in most fissures dotted around the map and also in the public and event quests Heart of the Enemy and It's a Trap. It's a Trap event is made easier by the fact that the Scorch Beast is unable to fly during that quest. The easiest and best place to get a Deathclaw kill is to go to Deathclaw Island at the top left area of the map. Swim to the island and the Deathclaw, which will be one of the lowest levels in the game, will dig itself out giving you a few seconds to damage before it even attempts to attack you. The public event Free Range is a good quest for the Sheep Squatch. It doesn't have a set spawn place, so just use the menu to access the public quest when it shows. And this quest, which involves herding Bram into a farm and is always under attack, the majority of the time a Sheep Squatch will attack the Bram at the end of the quest. Public quest Heart of the Swamp can have one out of the two you need as a boss at the end of the quest. This quest you have to damage the large flower when it's open and when it's closed deal with swarms of enemies. Then either a Grafton monster or a Myrlet queen will show up. I will show you precise locations where these two can be found without quests. The Swarm of Suitors public event 
can have a My Luck Queen turn up at the end, unless you do this quest super quick. You can also find a Marilic Queen in the X3 quarry. Go to the bottom right of your map, and northwest of Watoga, you will find the X3 quarry location. Grafton Munster can be found in the event called It's Grafton Day. You can find a Grafton Munster wandering around Charleston train yard located on the left side of the map. And finally, there is a good spot to get a super mutant behemoth. If you go to Solomon's Pond, that's to the right of White Spring Resort, roughly in the middle of the map, and you want to head southwest from the pond to find another unmarked pond where the super mutant behemoth is.
If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. There are tips, achievement guides, and full walkthroughs posted every week. Thanks for watching.